Hello friends, my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about the annotation is called at the rate import annotation. The at the rate import annotation allows for loading bin definition from different configuration file. So I'm going to create a first of all a project Java project with name uh, a spring bean sorry a spring java based config example 2 and uh, let's click on this next and finally click on the finish button so this project is created now let's create a folder in this project is called lib and in this folder I'm going to copy all dependent jars from my previous example so these are the jars I'm going to copy and let's copy in this lib folder and let's close my previous project and here these dependent jars I'm going to add in the class path so go to the build path configure build path uh, select libraries and add libraries and in this project we have a leaf folder we have kept all dependent jars so let's add in the class path and we are done so basically this video is the continuation of uh, java spring java based uh, configuration so in earlier video tutorial we have seen we had only one uh, java based configuration class but uh, if we, your project is a uh, huge and your project contains more than one modules then there is chance you can have a more than one configuration file right so here i'm going to create a class in package com dot infotech dot config and i would say uh, something is called admin config okay and second is called another class I would say employ config okay so or I would say admin service config that would be the more appropriate and this class I'm going to rename as employ service config so this is these are the two configuration files so let's annotate this class as at the rate um, configuration so this represents a configuration file now let let me change the java compiler version so this is pointing 1.4 let's select 1.7 say yes click on ok okay now let's create a class it's called public return type would be uh, Employee service and I would say employee service is the method name and this guy is going to return new employee service and this method I'm gonna annotate with at the rate bin so basically this will create an instance of employee service and that will register uh, into the spring container with this method name right so let's create this class as well so i would create this class in com.infotech.service package and let's create this class and here i'm going to create a method public void add employee and simply I'm not going to write any kind of business logic I'll write a simple SOP so our new employee is added something like that in real scenario you can have uh, some business logic over here some real scenario code and uh, we have another configuration file is called admin service so let's annotate this class as at the rate configuration and let's create a method public and I would say admin admin service and this is gonna return 
an instance of admin service and method name I'm going to specify admin service itself uh, with first letter small and this is going to return instance of admin service okay. and this method I'm going to annotate as the at the rate b so basically this will just uh, we are creating an instance of admin bin so this instance will be registered into the application context with this name so that's all let's create this class as well and i would create this class in this service package and simply i'm going to create a method like public uh, void sorry uh, i would say add admin and simply i'm going to print a statement within this method a new admin is added something like this okay now we are going to create a client class in client package i would say class name is test and this will have a main method and here I'm going to create a annotation config application context. So let's say name of variable is context and let's create a try catch block. And if any exception arises, then I would like to print entire tra stack trace and we'll have a finally block and finally block I would like to close the resource that is nothing but the context if context not equal to null then call close method on it so let's close now let's instantiate this class so this class is having a uh, constructor yeah. so here basically we have a two configuration file right uh, admin service as well as employee service right so what I'll do I'm gonna use at the rate import annotation and in this import on return we can specify attribute attribute is nothing but here I'm going to specify employee service config dot class if you have a multiple configuration file uh, right then here you can comma separate you can supply rest of the configuration class as well right so now uh, now this is our what i can say this is a parent configuration file which holds other configuration file as well so here in client program only you need to pass this configuration file right and admin service config will contain the other services as well right now let's call a method get bin on it get bin and uh, i'm going to use this bin so here i'm going to specify a uh, bin name first of all so here uh, this instance will be created and this instance will be registered in the application context with this method name if you want the specific name then here in bracket you can specify the name of the object right so here if you do not specify then method name will be the uh, instance id right spring bin id and here i'm going to specify employee service dot class right and this is going to return you employee service instance and once you get the employee service object then we can call its method right so add employee similarly I'm gonna call admin service right so we have a admin service configuration file here and we can what we can say ID of this bin would be admin service so we can specify admin service and here we can say admin service and this import we have to do and this is gonna return you admin service so once we get the instance of admin service then we can call its method 
okay pretty enough so now everything is set up now let's run this program and and here we get the output new a new employee is added a new admin is added means both configuration file is working perfectly fine right so in case you have a more than one configuration file and you are using I mean Java based configuration file then you can make a one configuration file as a parent class and rest of the configuration file you can uh, include in the parent configuration file like this using at the rate import annotation so I hope you enjoyed learning this video so guys this code I'm going to put on the github and github location I will specify in the video description itself so if you have any query or any questions related to Java then please do post below to the video I will try to answer those queries as soon as possible and thanks for watching this video.